Two weeks ago, we showed you a walk around of the new Jaguar F-Type with Wayne Burgess, the head of Jaguar's production design studio. Now, we're about to dive into some of the engineering that went into the car. Take a look. Well, I think it's very important for us um, to understand that it's, it's a, great, a great privilege, but a huge amount of pressure trying to, re trying to replace a car as iconic as the E-Type. It really is. You can imagine the expectations of the world uh, for a new Jaguar sports car after 50 years, the first time we have a, a true focused sports car. So a great amount of pressure on the team, but uh, that, that, that's a good thing. Um, I think it was important for us to understand rather than just copy the E-Type, but to understand the values and the principles, what made that car so iconic. Uh, and of course, there's uh, outstanding performance. That goes without saying. Foundation really upon all, which all sports cars are built. And of course, there's that wonderful, sensuous beauty, that fantastic design, arguably one of the greatest designs of all time. I mean, even Enzo Ferrari, I think, m made that reference. Um, and actually, it's more than that as well. What also made the E-Type such a great car is the appropriate use of innovation and technology Technology to deliver that sports car performance feel, that character of a sports car. So as a team, we challenged ourselves to, to really emulate those principles. We put them in a 21st century context. Uh, what we try to deliver is a car that is very responsive, very agile. The driver feels part of it. You actually, it's an extension of the driver. You're, you're part of an animal rather than being merely sat within a machine. We've, uh, we've chosen three supercharged powertrains, three gasoline supercharged powertrains. There's a 340 PS V6 supercharged engine, a 380 PS V6 supercharged uh, engine, and then the top of the range, which is a stunning uh, 495 PS V8. Uh, as I've said, all of those engines are supercharged, and we felt that uh, supercharging really fits the character of a sports car. That very free revving, responsive, agile performance and that real immediacy of response throughout the whole rev range to give the car that real agility of character. F-Type actually is the fourth generation of our aluminium architecture. Um, we started the journey more than 10 years ago now. So Jaguar really are pioneers, not just in the engineering design of aluminium architectures, uh, but in the manufacturing principles as well. Uh, and of course, aluminium is just perfect for a sports car. It's very, very light and it's very, very stiff. So it really underpins the performance characteristics of a sports car. Uh, we really try to engineer new levels of stiffness within the body structure. So if I think about the structure as a whole, uh, we've increased the levels of torsional stiffness uh, versus XKRS, which is our internally our most sporting uh, uh, benchmark, by more than 10%. Uh, more important than that, though, we've increased the levels of lateral stiffness uh, between the front suspension mounts by almost 30%. And of course, that stiffness is very, very important. When I talk about stiffness, I'm talking about immediacy of response, the way the car reacts to driver inputs and to steering inputs. I'm really excited about the car. I mean, it's great to be here talking to people and seeing their reaction to seeing the, to seeing the car firsthand. But I really I can't wait to see people's reactions when they drive the car. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Why? Higher take rates, lower cost of ownership, longer range and better fuel mileage, lower CO2 emissions. Clean diesel, good, economical, functional. Bosch, invented for life.